What will bring people together, first of all, uh, there are two things I would like to mention. One is digital literacy and awareness. If people are not aware of what the threats or what the challenges are, especially with the amounts of data that people are giving out on these platforms, uh, which are globally susceptible to issues, cyber terrorism, cyber attacks, uh, espionage, data protection and privacy issues. If people are not aware, then they will not know how bad the issue can become and they will not know how dangerous they, they may have been putting themselves on the line and the impacts that these uh, issues can happen to them. So people need to get more aware so that they can begin to contribute more to the, to the debate, to getting uh, the big players in this space to become more accountable. So if we are aware, so digital awareness is a critical uh, incentive that can drive more participation. Again, uh, another thing that can help to uh, put these issues in check is a robust regulatory frameworks, uh, especially for countries uh, that are developing. Uh, the developed countries are a step ahead in that regard, but we need it to be a global issue because the issues are transnational, the issues are cross-border, and therefore we can hold one area of the, ge of the global uh, geographic scope and say they are progressing in that area, they are understanding what the issues are, they are able to set, set up standards and uh, laws and regulations that can hold the players in this space accountable. If data moves from those areas, Sorry. <coughs> if data moves from those areas to other areas where these laws don't exist, then we will not be achieving uh, the, the global objective because uh, some will still be uh, within the scope of threat. Uh, and therefore, a robust regulatory reform, which is uniformly established around the world, are two key things that I think should be put in place here.